Hi, my name is Guste. I'm a fourth grader. Uh, I, I'm in green school and I've been here for six years. I'm, and I'm also a local scholarship. I think the local scholarship program is important because it's a way of saying thank you to the local, the local people um, so they can go inside the school and learn about nature and yeah. The thing about green school and how um, and the difference between green school and uh, and a normal school is that green school more focuses on teaching you how to preserve nature and teaching you about the beauties of nature. Well, my favorite thing about Green School is really everything. I like everything about it. What you learn, what you do, everything. My name is Gidei. I am one of the uh, parents of scholarship program here in Green School. We come over come from all over the world and then we bring uh, we build a kind of a, a community here which is uh, more concerning in in um, education and in the nature in in one in one uh, place so then uh, we we can create uh, the new generation that uh, will bring more um, sustainable for for our life here in in the in the earth well as part of the green school family also uh, I always keen to engage with the school so uh, sometimes during weekend I lead the tour here because uh, this tour also uh, to raise the fund for a local scholar and the other side is uh, we try to share uh, and giving the inspiration for the people. The uh, atmosphere here at Green School, uh, it is like in our previous uh, life, so where we live in the nature and then we have gardens and we produce our uh, food, the source is here and we live by the river, we have uh, our own water source, so yeah, it is um, uh, perfect, you know, it's perfect. Construction is uh, all in bamboo. We plant bamboo. We have also aquaponic here, where uh, the system of gardening is support each other. You know, cleaning the water and then fertilize the uh, plantations. And then energy also becomes so vital in our life. So. We bring uh, modern technology here to the school. Uh, we um, harvest the solar energy, so we have solar panel here. And then also uh, because we live uh, by the river, so the river is become uh, potential to to get the, the the energy from there. So we have Portex, so where. We use the the streams of the river and then to to move the turbine and then the dynamo produce the um, energy for the electricity. We uh, manage our uh, own uh, waste. So we have Kembali that uh, everyone can, uh, I mean, everyone can bring all those waste from uh, the house, uh, parents, students, and also the community around the school. 
the organic one actually we process in into the compost system so this is also as the learning center of the student and at the same time so we use the compost uh, for our garden well local scholarship programs become so important uh, for us here yeah? because um, this kind of concept actually uh, uh, in some of the people is already uh, leave this kind of concept in our life and then prepare the more modern life uh, but uh, here at green school we we uh, find the different things that we already leave uh, before so and then uh, uh, the family of the local scholar, of course, uh, they will influence the neighborhood and then also uh, the community around uh, the village. From what I learned in green school, um, it gives me an inspiration to do a thing like this. So I thought of the idea of maybe making something like Kambali because Kambali recycles trash. It takes trash and some t and it turns it into something brand new. And also maybe I could put it in my village in my dad's village, so I could sell the trash too. community in this village. So we have a, a kind of uh, network we call GED or Jaringan Ekowisata Desa or Village Ecotourism in Net, uh, Network in English. The big picture of our purpose is to, to raise the awareness of the people, how they manage their resources in the village. Since the uh, the tourism industry booming here in 1980. So then uh, everything's become changed, you know. Uh, let's say uh, the, the lens function now a lot changed, where the previous is uh, a rice field, now it's become a tourism facilities. And then uh, water consumption is also become a, a, a serious issue in the island. And then um, uh, the the waste management also becomes a quite serious problem right now. So uh, this project actually the background is, is is that kind of thing. We try to 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 enter uh, uh, to work with the community here with the uh, tourism activities but in a different way. To introduce to you, my name is Gede Wirata. I'm a farmer. Yeah, it's mean that uh, also, uh, it's mean that my dailies work uh, in the field, yeah, to give uh, maintenance for what we grow in the field. So we farm cows like that. Uh. But because, I explain also to you, because we also organize uh, uh, tourism, in this case we call it uh, eco-tourism program. Yeah. I myself also, to welcome this project, I myself be one of the local tour guides. So, uh, what, uh, we work, uh, what we do with the tourists when they come to the village, of course, we'll drive the tourists uh, to the field, we drive them to the field and explain 
the resources that we have in the village, yeah. how they manage their land. Even they have a small plot of land, but the local people will grow everything to support their daily's needs. Yeah. It means that we already know what uh, potatoes, uh, peanuts, uh, oranges, uh, pumpkin, those uh, seeds, uh, we already have from past time. Uh, for the everything that we grow from the past time also, the important one, uh, the local people, they will use uh, uh, organic fertilizer because in the field they have cows here. The cows will produce, uh, will have uh, uh, manure from the cows and then we we'll use uh, to uh, give a fertilizer for the what we grow. From birth till die, uh, we have a connection with the bamboo. Traditionally, like uh, to welcome the egg celebration, like temple festival, uh, wedding ceremony, cremation, we need bamboos here. Yeah? Because from bamboos we can make everything. Basket, uh, like uh, uh, temporary altars here, yeah? and then they make a uh, shed yeah? also uh, from bamboos here. Yeah? In past time, the houses in the housing area, yeah? all of the houses made of bamboo, yeah? made from bamboo. Yeah? Uh, the wall, the pillars, including the roof, yeah, even the roof are totally made of bamboos because they grow a lot of uh, bamboos here. Yeah. And due to the development, development of tourism, why the tourists they, they are very uh, surprised, they are very happy to stay in the uh, house like a bamboo, a yeah, bamboo house. Yeah. Some of the people uh, change their mind back to past time. Yeah. That is why some of our people also already has a bamboo house here yeah, to for homestay like that. Yeah. The local students can learn here and learn English and teach everyone in like their community about how to be green and respect nature. It gives Indonesians and Balinese people the same opportunities as everyone else and it makes the school more vibrant with new people and they're just great people to have around that don't have the same opportunities to do things. That you could, if there is an Indonesian uh, kid in the class, you could talk Indonesian together. Lots of them are very nice, and I also think it's important that they learn too. And yeah, it's great. They teach you lots of Balinese and lots more about Bali and new languages, and they're kind. Well, they're nice, friendly, they're um, generous, yeah, in fact, I, I love it. Well, I think the local, uh, local scholarship is really important because um, Green School is a private school and it's pretty costly, um, especially for the locals here, and so it gives an opportunity for uh, students that may not have the funds to have an experience like this um, to be able to study at the Green School. First thing, I grew up from a very simple family, which is my family. It's not a rich family, we did not have everything much, and that's why I really need a scholarship to go to school.